Hello and welcome, little scientists. I'm Miss Victoria from the Ridgewood Public Library. Today I'm here to share a quick and easy experiment that's perfect for summertime. Let's see how to turn lemonade into fun and fizzy science. Here are some of the items we'll need for this experiment. I also added measuring spoons and a strainer to the mix. Now that we have all our materials together, we can set up our experiment. That will begin with making fresh lemonade. Here's a quick step-by-step -step overview of how to do that. Then I will demonstrate the steps for you. First, we're going to measure out two cups of water and boil them in a kettle on the stove with adult assistance, of course. Once the water has come to a boil, we can add two tablespoons of sugar and stir into the liquid to dissolve. In preparation for this next step, I cut the lemons in half. Then I squeeze the lemon juice of one full lemon into each cup using a strainer to separate the seeds. Next, I added ice to one of the glasses. Then I poured one cup of the sugar water into each glass. So one cup had cold water and one cup had hot water. The final step was to add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda to each glass and watch what happens. Here are some questions I considered as I was doing this experiment and these would be helpful for you to use when you do it on your own. You may add some more questions too. But these questions all have to do with your senses. So first of all, can you see the fizz? How does it look? Can you feel the fizz? How does it feel? Can you hear the fizz? What does it sound like? Can you smell the lemons? How do they smell? What does the fizzy lemonade taste like? And finally, does the cold or warm glass fizz more? It's pretty cool to watch the fizzing action, and it's actually our evidence that a chemical reaction is occurring. So, as it turns out, the warmer glass fizzed right away, while the ice-filled glass took longer to fizz. So the heat had something to do with creating that, that fizzing action more quickly. Next, it's important to note that lemons are highly acidic, whereas baking soda is an alkaline or a basic substance. When the two ingredients combine, they create a chemical reaction, as I mentioned, that gives off carbon dioxide gas, which is completely harmless. By adding just a small bit of baking soda to the lemonade, it starts to bubble, fizz, and pop. Fun! In fact, it was so much fun to watch that I tried it again. I added some more baking soda to the warm water cup and watched the foam come right out like an erupting volcano. One final observation that I wanted to share with you was that I tasted the lemonade with the baking soda added and I did not like it. It's not harmful to try, but I personally wouldn't recommend it. When you make your own lemonade, be sure to reserve some to drink, keeping the baking soda experiment separate. I wanna thank you for joining me today for Little Scientists. I hope you have fun making your own fizzy lemonade and stay tuned for our next monthly experiment. Bye.